Hi guys and welcome to Ratwolf and Bushcraft. Thanks for tuning in. Picture yourself in the following scenario. You're out in the wilderness, you want to explore new landscapes, and yeah, maybe you're taking a compass and a map with you, but the compass breaks. Or maybe you just rely on your smartphone and your phone battery dies on the way. What do you do then? Would you be able to identify the cardinal directions, so north, south, east and west, by means of using the sun and natural materials? If not, join me in this video, because I'm going to show you how to build a compass from a couple of sticks. Let's go! So the first thing you need to do is go look for a nice exposed piece of land which is flat. So as you can see I'm walking on these yeah, tracks here, those tractor tracks. And already right over here we have a nice exposed spot. The sun gets everywhere around here and as you can see the surface here is flat and that's really important. And you will see why in a second. The next thing we need are three straight twigs. This one is the straightest of the three and the thickest. So I'm going to use this for crafting my sundial. And it's pretty simple. You just carve a pointy end, just like so. And then you stick this one into the ground, just like so. And as you can see, the stick is casting a shadow now, right to this point. We then take a second stick, break that in half also here, so I have a shorter piece. And I also carve a pointy end. Just like this. And now I'm marking the top position of the shadow cast by my sundial stick with this shorter marker stick. In order to double check, you can also check if the shadows are running parallelly. In this case, everything's fine. And now we just wait 15 minutes. I have waited for about five minutes now. And as you can see, the shadow cast by our sundial stick has moved away from the marker stick. And why is this? Well, here on the Northern Hemisphere, the sun always travels from east to west on the southern side. So somewhere down there is south and while the sun is traveling like so from east to west the shadow of that stick is traveling in the opposite direction so from west to east. And we wait a little more so that we can place a second marker point and from that we can deduct the west-east axis and if we have the west-east axis we can also define north and south. All right, folks, I have waited patiently for about 20 minutes now. And as you can see, the shadow has already traveled quite a bit of a distance. And now we just take our second marker stick here, carve another pointy end into that marker stick, just like so, and then stick it to the tip of the new position of the shadow, just like so. And as you can see, if we put a straight twig on the inside of both these marker sticks, we now get the west to east axis. Let me explain it again from a different angle. As we discussed, the sun is moving from east to west on the southern side if we're in the northern hemisphere, right? Which means that the shadow moves from west to east in the opposite direction of the sun, right? And if we now realize that the shadow moves from here to there, we can actually indicate the west to east axis by putting a straight twig right here. And from that we can deduct the north-south axis, south being where the sun is, north being where the shadow is cast. And if you don't believe me, let's just take a compass to compare this. It is almost accurate, as you can see. This is the north-south axis, the right angle right here, also north-south axis and east-west from here to there. That's it.
All right, folks, so now you've learned how to turn a couple of sticks into an efficient compass. And before you take that skill outside into the wilderness, please make sure to practice that at home, maybe in your garden or on your balcony in a raised bed, because it takes a bit of practice to get used to this technique. Don't take any chances if you go into the outdoors, don't do anything stupid, and enjoy the process of learning these type of skills, all right? And maybe one more thing, I demonstrated the version of the sundial compass on the northern hemisphere. If you would use it on the southern hemisphere, just make sure to invert south and north on your axis. That's basically it. And then you can navigate in any place around the world. That said, if you take a look at me, <laughs> I'm sweating as hell. I really want to get some ice cream and I know that I was leaving my town from that direction because I went south, got lost somehow, but with the compass I figured out that this is northern direction. So I'm gonna go get some refreshment and I say thanks for watching. If you liked that video, give it a thumbs up, make sure to subscribe to the channel and above all, stay hydrated. Don't get a heat stroke, okay? <laughs> up until next time, have a good one. Take care. Thank you.